Okay, so for our painting exercise, you've selected a file. Each one of these files comes with a photograph and a sketch. And these are gonna help you build your, your painting. Okay, so save your file, save as your last name and then tomato or peapod or whatever file that you've chosen. And then we'll begin painting, okay? So what the objective is, is to turn on and off the files as you're building this file. You're building these layers of painting. You're gonna paint one layer on top of each other to create an impressionistic view of this photograph. And um, I'm gonna be sampling colors from the photograph that we have to create my color palette for the tomato. We're gonna use the eyedropper tool and um, we're going to build a painting. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is create a background layer. Now, you want to create, uh, first of all, turn off, unlock your, your layers. So make sure they're unlocked so that we can go and sort of change them just slightly. We're not going to actually touch these. You don't want to paint on either one of these layers. So you're going to keep these fresh, but we want to we want to be able to turn them on and off. We want to be able to change the opacity of the layer. So that's why we unlock them. The next step is we add a background layer. So go to the hamburger panel, new layer. And this is going to be called background color. Okay. Now, this is hearkening back to our marquee exercise, the very first exercise you guys did. But what I want you to do is take the marquee tool and draw a marquee around the whole document. And you got the marching dance. And then select a color down in the set foreground color. And select a color that you want to use for your background. Um, go more towards a green. So select that color. Say okay, then use your paint bucket tool and dump that color in there. Okay, Command D, deselect it, and then turn off that layer. We don't really need that for a while. Next, we're gonna add another new layer and you're gonna call this layer custom brush. And this is where our work with our brushes are gonna, is gonna go. Once we create that little stamp that you guys have done some sketches on, and we're gonna to get to that next week. That's the second part of this exercise. The first part is just building up layers and building the painting and creating a nice um, foreground image of using painted layers to contrast against the solid color background. And then we're gonna use that pattern stamp to create a pattern in between your painting layers and your background layer, okay? So we're gonna turn off that layer too. Next. We're gonna add another layer. And this is gonna be our darkest reds or our darkest values of the, the image. And mine happens to be red. I don't know what image you guys are using, but whatever image you're using, we wanna start and paint with the darkest value, okay? So I'm gonna to go to my sketch layer and I'm gonna turn down the opacity so I can see what's going on. That's down pretty far. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back up to my darkest red. I've already sampled that. You sample it by going to your layer, your photographic layer, and using your eyedropper tool and just clicking on it and it'll create a sample for you. And that's in my foreground color. Um, so I'm gonna use that color to paint with. So we're gonna go back up to our layer and we're gonna select a brush. Um, and you can use the pull down menu to just to select whatever kind of brush you want. There's all different kinds that we can get into later. Uh, right now, I just want a softer brush. So I'm going to go here and pick, um, this brush and I'm going to, larger on the size and 
I think I can still go even larger or just say, okay. I'm gonna go a little larger and then let's check our opacity is good. Let's paint. No, something's not right. Um, and hit undo. And I'm gonna go check. This. So maybe it's the brush. So I'm gonna go back to a hard brush. Okay. And uh, okay, so yep, let's go with the hard brush. We've got the color selected. We've got our Oh, the opacity is turned down to 47. That's what it is. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so we want the opacity at 100% and we're gonna paint now. So we've got our big brush. I'm going a little over the line, sorry about that. Move this over and just cover your hole image and then we'll get started with the next layer and you have to change your brush size you're going to you're going to go smaller to get into those little detailed areas so starting out bigger and going smaller and smaller and tiny um and that's just giving us a background color. That's kind of like our, our background to paint on. So So make it really tiny. And there we have our background color just about done. Um, I'm gonna go a little smaller. Okay, so let's turn off. I'm gonna turn off my background layer. I wanna see how it looks. See if I've missed any spots. Well, I missed a lot. So it's kind of a rough down here. So I'm gonna go back and smooth that out. Change my flow. Uh, I'm gonna go to a little bit lighter flow. So let's see if that helps. So you turn off the layers to see how you're doing. You turn them on to just, you know, keep on evaluating how you're doing and you get through it. You know, every, every layer you add is a different color. And basically you add layers and you just keep on going. So let's add one more layer. And um, I wanna, let's, let's turn on our background layer and see how does that look? Looks kind of cool on that color. Um, so we're gonna add a lighter orange. So go to new layer and orange, orange color. We've got a couple different colors of orange in there. So um, I'm adding orange, that's my new layer. And I've already sampled it. So they showed you how to sample. You take the eyedropper, eyedropper and you go on to your original photo. So I'm just gonna, this is the color that I want in my foreground color. So now I'm gonna turn off my background again 
and turn off my darkest red, turn off my orange. I mean, no, turn that on, keep that on. Background color, sketch, turn on the sketch and the orange. So I'm gonna go with a little bit lighter, I mean, bigger brush than I had. Um, I like the flow there. I'm gonna actually turn down the opacity. So I want like kind of a more painterly look to this part. So you're gonna see my brush strokes. So, and I'm gonna reduce my brush size. And like I showed you in that sample, we could do some stippling where you just, you know, kind of use it like a little a stipple brush. It's not really good for a tomato because you want tomatoes to be kind of flat and shiny, but it's kind of fun for painting. So we're going to use that. And let's see how it looks on top of our darker red. Oh, interesting. So basically what you do is you just keep on building the color up. Um, then I'm going to go down even more in my opacity. So I'm still on my orange layer and I'm going to turn off my red. I want to see what else is going on here. So we got that. A little bit here, you know, so basically what you do is you look at your values, you look at your brush, change your brush size, and there's lots of different textures that you can use in there too. So check these out. Um, and you add layers. And you build a painting. And if you have any questions, just email me.